the awkward moment when a, a couple walks by and really just look at you sitting here talking to yourself to a camera. Not awkward at all. I'm excited to move uh, to a new place where people can't look in into my windows. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. So welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a kind of talky, chatty video. And this is going to be about why I do project panning and why I really, really like it so much that I actually do. I have been doing project pans for five years and four of them have been on YouTube and then the first year I have tried it for myself before I made a channel and all of that jazz. So I have been doing for a very long time and I have been learning so much and I'm learning something new every single year, every single month and day and whatever. I'm just learning new methods of panning and I, I'm just, it's just a learning curve and I am loving it. I really believe in panning and getting your money's worth out of your products because you do spend a lot of money on makeup if you're into it at least. I just really really like that thought that I actually use what I buy and I just, I don't just buy stuff just to buy it and look at it. I actually use it. So one of the things I really love about panning and why I do it is also I want to use it before they expire because I have been using a few bronzers now that have broken me out here on my jaw. Isn't it called that? Jaw? I knew it was the bronzer because when I stopped using the bronzer because I laid here, here and here, the pimples, they disappeared. Every time I break out here on my jaw, I know it's a bronzer and then it reminds me of products to expire. I haven't experienced that much makeup expire on me. Mostly shadows losing their pigmentation and it's not as creamy as it was and some foundations breaking me out and stuff like that. I didn't smell that nice in the end. I just really like the thought of not throwing out makeup and panning helps with that. Even though I pan, I can do fun looks like this that isn't a part of, for example, my Panda palette and I don't strike myself all the time, seven days a week, to project panning. I do give myself some space to play around with my collection because I am still a makeup lover and I love to play around. For example, I have some yellow and blue eyeshadow on today and I just really love playing around but I also really love seeing the progress, hitting pan on products and see and see it getting used. Also, project panning have taught me that sometimes when I put products into a project pan that I really, really love, then sometimes I find out that I really don't like the item anyway. And it's really hard to work with because I have only used it here and there. When you are going to use the product every single time you do your makeup, you really get to know the product, which is also a really nice thing to get to know your makeup collection, but you get to know the product, if you like it or not, or it's just okay. Because if you really don't like it, you can declutter it and give it a good home and maybe some other person will really love it. But then you don't have to force yourself to use it, but you can go to another product in your collection that you really love, work on that instead. So that's also a goal of mine that I don't want to force myself to use products if I really don't like it. Another reason why I love project panning and what project pen have taught me is that you take forever to go through a product. Forever. No matter what it is. Some makeup products go by faster than others. For example, I can get through a foundation in like two, three, four months, depending on how much there is in the bottle. But for example, a bronzer, blush, highlighter, I can get, I can go a full year of using the same product. Really depends on how heavy handed you are. <laughs> but with my skin tone, I can't be that heavy handed, so they last longer. For, and eyeshadows, for example, it takes forever to go through them because you don't need a lot. Your eyeballs are not that big. <laughs> Some can multitask the products, which I also really love about project painting because you learn different techniques and 
you learn different kind of methods to get through the product not to overuse it but to make make it work even though i really hate that term because that is really forcing yourself to go through it but you are learning you can use it multiple ways and for example i have used a, a lipstick for cream blush today because you know how long it takes for you personally to go through a product you might have the habit to shop less decreasing your spending is definitely something that have happened to me over the years i have not been the biggest spender in the world because i haven't had that much money to just go out and buy stuff but i have definitely had the mindset that i wanted to try stuff all the time i definitely had decrease my spending and I'm really careful of what I pick up and buy of my for my money and I have appreciated makeup in another way so I know it adds value to my collection so I'm not going to buy five neutral palettes so I have bought some with color and I have some neutrals and colors and stuff like that because I like both I want to bring stuff into my collection that are unique for example I I use eyeliners but I don't use them a lot but I bought eyeliners that was unique for example a teal green or a purple so they were unique to my small eyeliner collection you're definitely decreasing your spending and you're not just buying all over the place which I really love then you can save your money for something else you really really wanted a more expensive makeup item or you can travel somewhere or you can save up to that aren't materialistic is that the word in english i'm not really sure but i think you know what i mean because you also know you are going to f go through the product really slowly sometimes you can really feel that satisfaction and enjoyment of finishing the product or just hitting pan for that matter hitting pan on an eyeshadow is amazing because every time i hit pan on an eyeshadow i stare at the pan for five, like five to ten seconds just realizing i just hit pan on a shadow that's amazing oh my god i have worked so hard to get to this point and i'm finally here i'm just loving that satisfaction in your brain and your mind can you tell that i like project panic I just think there are so many uh, good sides of project panning but you can definitely also get bored with project panning but it is really the organization of project panning that um, can make it fun because you don't throw in like 10 brown eyeshadows at the same time. I love project panning because I have gotten some really 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 good friends through it. I have gotten friends on Instagram, I have gotten friends on YouTube, I have mentioned some people a lot, I have done collabs. I just really love that I can get to know people through project planning and actually calling them my friends. Also because these friends are into makeup just as much as you are. And that's amazing because I only have a few friends in real life that are this much into makeup that actually want to do a yellow eye for example from eyeshadow i have friends but they are not into makeup and i'm always the person they go to for makeup advice and stuff like that so it's really really nice to communicate with people that have the same passion and interest and love for makeup and um, so that's really really nice so i think that is a good note to end this video if i have forgotten some reasons please let everyone know in the comments and we can chat about it i would love to because i really really enjoy panning and it's definitely something that i'm going to continue doing no <laughs> no doubt about that i just really love to get use out of my collection and it's fun and you can play with your makeup and pan at the same time i'm very sorry about this your small hair I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. And subscribe down below if you're new here. I would love for you to hang out. Click on the small bell so you know when I upload next. And until my next video, please take care. Bye.